July love and career reading. It is so good to be back with you guys. Thank you so much for your patience and me coming back to you. Um, it's been a wild and crazy ride um, for the last several months. So for our reading, I'm going to start with career and we're going to be getting some insight for the month of July. What do we need to know for Leo? We can get clear. What do we need to know for Leo? Six of Wands comes out. That is major victory card. Congratulations. Don't sit on your laurels too long. You will have to move forward at some point, but give yourselves a pat on the back about something. Three of Pentacles and Five of Wands. All right, so let's get some clarity here. So Six of Wands, we have got the High Priestess energy. Three of Pentacles, just coming right out, aren't they? We've got the Knight of Pentacles, awesome. And then five of wands. Okay, so there's some people here. There's some competition. Um, <clears throat> All right, you guys. So six of wands, what we have so far is basically whatever this victory is, you really do deserve a pat on the back because that high priestess that came out is talking about your... Um, your ability to be clicked into your your intuition. So this uh, victory achievement comes out of truly listening to yourself, um, which we're not always clicked into. Oftentimes when we do pay too much attention to the competition or possibly what we're lacking, those are the moments when we're not clicked into our intuition. And so congratulations. But again, along with the meaning of the Six of Wands is the message of don't sit back on your laurels too long. You know, you don't want to keep just floating on that. you got to move forward at some point. Three of Pentacles is talking about an exchange of like, this, these are the people you work with or they are um, the people who are hiring you to do a job, basically. And there is money attached to this and stability, but the energy is slow. It's about being strategic, not impulsive, moving forward with responsibility and looking at, you know, before you move forward with this group of people, really um, taking your time to uh, look at the landscape, you know, like, are there potholes? Do you need to avoid this area? Do you need to do things, strategize basically, and um, you're going to be much better off for it. Um, and why are we going to be much better off for it? Let's find out. With career, four of cups comes out with the eight of cups because if you move, when while you're doing that strategizing, while you're looking at the landscape, you're going to be seeing there's going to be possibly an offer or two that you don't want to take, that you want to walk away from. And by taking your time um, and working with this group or this, this, um, collaboration, I have to say, because that's Three of Pentacles is collaborative energy. Um, in order to not lose the opportunities at hand, um, it's going to come down to some of those details that you see off in the landscape while you are not galloping forward, but you're actually standing still on this horse while you are being strategic and careful. Does that make sense? Makes sense to me. I hope it makes sense to you. <laughs> All right, five of wands. This is competition. And um, there's two individuals that pop out here. There's a king of wands and there's a knight of swords. Let me explain to you their energy. King of wands is a visionary. They're confident. They move forward with ease. They usually delegate jobs to others. They like to be basically that boss energy, but they don't like to pay attention to all the detail. They're big visionaries. They like looking at the big picture and they're better off when they do have um, their henchmen or their wor their helpers um, that can see the details around them because that is actually one of their blind spots, if that makes any sense. Knight of Swords comes out with this impulsive energy. Now this is either the King of Wands um, working impulsively or this is another individual that is more youthful in their uh, energies and more eager um, coming out. We've got the Ten of Wands, which is the end of this exhausting chapter, and we've got Queen of Wands coming out. 
So there's a lot of fiery energy here. There's the temptation to be impulsive and there's basically, and there's this competitive kind of conflictive energy going on. I feel that this is closing up a deal. This is you guys either, this is you closing up a deal, trying to end up, end off a chapter and um, resisting the temptation to be impulsive or move it too quick. Um, three of cups again. Um, excuse me, a three again, not of cups. So yeah, I mean, this is, these are, I, it feels like coworkers. It feels like you're trying to finish off a project and the challenge lies where you, where you actually hold um, the key to a positive ending and a positive closing up of that chapter is really paying attention to detail and um, fighting against the impulse to move quickly and to be too broad in your vision. This is where your superpower comes in, Leo, is um, you are going to be strategic and slower with this and follow your um, don't get knocked off by the competition or that this conflictive energy. Um, in fact, listen to your high priestess energy because she's going to steer you straight. At the bottom of the deck, we've got the Hierophant. That's faith systems. This is commitments. This is even institutions. So, all right. I hope that's helpful. We're going to move on to the love portion of our reading. Gather those up. Give this a shuffle. Just a... cleanse the deck a little bit there and we're gonna get a new deck for you love for Leo's I'm gonna do another shuffle and if these cards don't shuffle smoothly I'm gonna use another deck I know it sounds funny but nope meant to be all right Leo in love July 2022 what insight can you give us for Leo in love please show us the cards that we need to see Mm, I'm just going to look at these. Three of Cups and Seven of Pentacles. Let's take those into account, but I'm not going to take them. Leo in love. There we are. We'll get some more out there soon, but we're going to start with the Justice card. Wow. So there is an interesting energy here, you guys. It's uh, it feels like let's it, it feels like all the cards have fallen where the cards are supposed to be. Um, I don't think that's really how the saying goes, but you'll get my point is, um, is there's kind of this sense of, um, things have panned out the way they are meant to pan out. There's a sense of justice here along with the six of pentacles and the five of, of cups. There's been disappointment attached to this, but also kind of a major reckoning here. Um, sometimes with justice card, there's literally contracts, there's literally the judicial system. There might even be divorces for some of you guys, but it, what you can really be rest assured with is that all this was kind of meant to be. And I hate that saying, but also there's a reason that sign, saying is around. There's this um, undeniable, there's an acceptance of things have fallen into their place, the right places. Notice in their left hand, both of them are holding the balances. That's really interesting. So with justice, in one hand, justice is holding the balance, which is suggesting, you know, that the equilibrium of things, things equalizing, things being thrown in and out of balance. And then we have the sword, and the sword represents truth and knowledge, okay? And in the hand of this individual, we have the same balance, exact same balance. And they are not shown out of balance, they're equalized. And in the other hand, they're giving, they're being, genera they're being generous, they're giving coins to this needy um, person with their hands out. So it's like you have given all you've, you've been able to give. And um, back to that silly little analogy I first gave, which is like the cards have fallen where they've fallen. Uh, any more on this love? And then there's these options, right? Like there's seven of cups coming out. And it's all about choosing the right option 
you've got messages coming in. Some of you guys will be traveling. A lot of people, a lot of the signs have been getting the eight of wands for July. And I think it's just a big action month. So these messages, this is coming in quickly. This is going to either be, um, if it's messages, it's going to be text messages. It's going to be Zoom calls or phone calls. Um, I can really imagine somebody wanting to actually hear your voice and talk to you. Um, and for some of you guys, that's going to be travel. And that's going to be a fast, a quick method to travel, which will be plain. So let's get a little more insight about this. I'd like to work backwards a little bit because this is very clear, but this has the story, the bulk of the story. So we're going to start with the five of cups about the disappointment. We have the king of wands. I think that you were hopeful. There was a visionary um, aspect of this um, kind of being distracted with how you wanted things to go and um, the fire that you had was so powerful that it steered steered the ship most of the time. And so in stark contrast, this disappointment is actually taking you to a very quiet place. And in that quiet place of the hermit, you, you gain a lot of knowledge, you gain a lot of perspective, and it's a great place to start over. So then we have Seven of Cups, which is suggesting these options, these new possibilities are starting to come in, and you're starting to look outward towards um, the big wide open world, you know, and while you're still on land, you're still attached to the story, you are leaving soon, you know, your ship is still in the harbor, but you are, you're contemplating, you're actually making a um, very conscientious choice of how you want to move forward. Uh, judgment this has been this is not something small this is a game changer this is a game some of you guys will be realizing how many options you actually have but not all that glitters is gold and so this is you consciously making the effort to be um discerning what about these messages what about the eight of wands tell us about that king of cups i feel like this is somebody Oh, interesting. I feel like this is somebody almost coming back and saying I've changed and you being like, nope. <laughs> well, so we have two energies here. We've got um, King of Cups, which is um, a, a compassionate, emotional individual, possibly a creative individual, somebody who's an artist um, or thinks creatively. So that, that kind of describes that energy. The other energy is quite opposite. It's like the ability to, this person has the ability to see black and white, not through an emotional lens. And they've been through the, they've been uh, around the block a couple times, you know, it's like they, they know, they have confidence in their own um, discernment. And why I think that this individual is going to be coming at them and being like, I've changed, um, I've changed is because they really feel that they have, they, they've learned a lot about themselves or about a certain aspect um, of the relationship that makes them feel that they've evolved. Um, and honestly, I think that there is this, uh, there's still conflict there. Um, but the beauty of this is it ends in a very positive place, this star card. I think that um, the resistance to this, you know, these messages, I think that there's actually a really happy ending here, a self-satisfaction. Um, I think you know exactly what I'm talking about too. Uh, and if you don't, then this is not a reading that fits you and, and let it go. Of course, don't try to make it fit. But I feel that at this point in the reading, you guys already know who I'm talking about, if that makes any sense. We've got the Ten of Wands at the very bottom of the deck. And this is talking about closing up an exhausting chapter. So you're closing it up with your wish being sent out. You know, you have standards and you're sticking by them. And you end up with a Nine of Cups, which is like being seen for who you are with a star card and finding your happiness. So all this is coming in quick succession in July and I come back to the justice card. You don't get that card unless things are really perfect where they are. Like you will come out um, being on, the, the, on top of things, okay? All right, so we're gonna get a little message from this awesome Oracle deck called The Universe Fucking Loves Me. <laughs> 
I just love that. Okay, so for our Leos. What if it's possible that when I forgive others, I free myself? I choose to release what isn't serving me, including non-forgiveness. All right, guys. I love you and I'll talk to you soon. All of you take care.